You find your blood pressure going down? <laughs> I think mine is. You're listening to the American Toad, and you can help identify sounds like this and find the uh, wealth of wetlands here in uh, Metro Detroit. Friends of the Rouge, they're looking for volunteers. We're joined by Sally Petrella, who's here to tell us more about what we can do. Uh, you're with the monitoring program. You're the program manager for uh, monitoring there? Yes, the watershed monitoring manager. All right, so tell us a little bit about the event and how we can help out. So uh, we are offering training for people who'd like to participate in our frog and toad survey. A frog and toad survey. Now there are yes. folks at home that are thinking, well, why do you need to survey frogs and toads? So uh, we do this survey so that people in this urbanized watershed mm -hmm. can get an experience with the local wildlife, mm -hmm. can get to know what lives out there, and to develop an understanding of wetlands and why they're important. And also, they get to become citizen scientists. So they actually uh, will be collecting information for us. And is that, is that information they collect useful? Oh, it's very, very useful. It's helping us to assess the health of the Rouge River watershed. All right. Now, you have some uh, props here I to do. help us sort of understand what some of the sounds folks will hear. Yes. All right. So uh, let's start over there on the end. Okay. So okay. What, this, this is going to sound like a frog? It is going to sound like a frog. So, um, and you're going to start hearing frogs uh, as soon as this Sunday. Uh, because once the temperatures mm -hmm. get above like 46 degree Fahrenheit, then the frogs will start calling. All right. And this is one of the earliest species that you would hear. Um, I'm going to mimic the spring peeper. The spring peeper. All right. It's a tiny little frog, but it's got a really loud call. And um, it sounds, they, they basically say their name. Okay. So in the spring, they start out slow because it's cold and they're cold and they can't produce their own body heat. And then as it gets warmer, they start going faster to the point where there's just a huge, huge chorus of those frogs. <laughs> some people get bothered by all yeah. that noise. And, that, and that's the spring peeper. It's a small that frog is, that we can start hearing soon. Yes. And then, you know, there's just a comb there. Yes. So the comb seems like a silly little thing, but there is a frog called the Western Chorus Frog. Mm -hmm. Some people call it the comb frog because okay. the sound of the frog sounds like if you took your thumb and you ran it over the tines on a comb. Oh, okay. Well, we have about 30 seconds left. I don't want to okay. uh, forget these other two frogs. How about we do one more, uh, one more frog? We do have the information on the turd, uh, toad uh, frog and survey workshop. It's at the rouge.org Saturday, uh, 10 a.m. in Livonia. Yes, we are doing a workshop this Saturday, and we are also doing a workshop in Plymouth. And you can sign up for the workshops at www.therouge.org. All right. And I will just play the green frog. Sounds like a banjo string.